Humans aren't born out of laying around on their asses. We're the dominant species. We built all this. We're powerful and we're beautiful and we're ready to build the next level of civilization in God's plan. If you love God and you want to build a pro-human future, you must become the victor. But you have to believe in yourself first. This is the truth and everyone knows it. So ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be responding to a small portion of a video that Asmongold released to a channel called Avowed Dev Team is full of psychos. Now that's just objectively true. The title is true. A lot of what Asmongold says in this video is true, but there is a portion of the video that I didn't like. And what it comes down to is the lack of any sort of duty of care when you're talking about somebody else. For example, Asmongold, and we're going to watch this little segment here, poses a perfectly reasonable, valid, and understandable question. It's a question that I myself have had. Why are people so irrationally angry at Mark Kern? Now, some retard, some low IQ degenerate loser in Asman's audience says because his opinions are deranged or his takes are deranged. And my contention with Asmongold here is that he just immediately takes the assumption, takes the declaration at face value. Now, that retard in the audience that has this hatred of Mark Kern and thinks that he's deranged, that's some loser, some nobody, some never going to amount to anything. But Asmongold repeating that and not pushing back on that, I think that's a problem. So, I will give further uh, elucidation of my opinion, but I think it's first, it's important that you see it for yourself in the context. People have Grum's derangement syndrome and Musk derangement syndrome. Why does everybody hate Mark Kern so much? It's a good question. I can see like not liking his opinions, but I feel like the, the like the level of vitriol that Mark Kern gets is crazy. It, it's yeah. like what? Because he's the biggest on Twitter, I I guess is Twitter. Is he the biggest on Twitter? But his takes are a bit deranged. Yeah, but there's a lot of people that are deranged. His takes are a bit deranged. Like. I want you to understand why that pissed me off. I and mean, we'll let Asman finish real quick, but I, I really need to hammer on that point. Right. What I'm saying is like, I don't think that he's like any more, is he more deranged than other people? I feel like there's a lot of people that are deranged. Mm. So, I, what else is there to even say, really? Some low IQ retard in his audience says, uh, Mark Kern's deranged. And Asmund goes like, yeah, he's deranged, but... No, no, he's not. He's absolutely not. The people who hate him are deranged, but that's not just me asserting that. That's me looking at them putting the head of Mark Kern's avatar on somebody who was recently assassinated and posting that gif on the internet. That's insane. That's deranged. What has Mark Kern done other than advocate for less censorship in games. I mean, like, even if he gets something wrong from time to time, that's not deranged. I'm just, look, there are a lot of people that hate Asmund Gold's guts. They despise him with a passion that I think even actually rivals Mark Kearns, if it isn't even more so. If I were to be talking about Asmongold and pose a question, like, I don't understand. Why do people hate Asmongold so much? Why why do they go berserk every time you know you mention Asmongold? And somebody would be like, oh, well, that's because you know he's a pedophile. And I'd be like, oh, oh, so so Asmongold's a pedophile. Asmongold likes to diddle kids. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, there are other pedophiles on the internet. Well, why do people hate this pedophile? It's like to just immediately assume the the negative about somebody that is damaging to their reputation now if it were on my channel it really wouldn't matter because you know 
look, I'm a small channel. I am fully aware that my channel is microscopic next to these guys. But this guy is getting 235,000 views in four hours on this video. Now, this is six minutes into the video that we're in. I just, I have an issue with this. You, as a content creator, should not be compelled to say anything. But at the same time, if you're going to casually just cast dispersions on people and saying that somebody is deranged is a dispersion. And there's not one evidence that he brings up. There's, there's not one example to say that he's just casually deranged. Do you understand how that could be negatively impacting, impacting somebody? Now, Mark Kern, to his credit, didn't let this bother him at all. He reposted this video and, you know, he was speaking positively. But my issue here is the fact that why, why would you feel comfortable? Even Let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's just say he's humoring this idiot in chat, all right? Why would you just go with the assumption that somebody is the worst version of what they're being portrayed as? Like, if you hated Mark Kern, fine. You're like, I don't like his take here. I don't like what he's done here. I don't particularly think that he's very valuable in this space. Whatever it may be, that's all perfectly legitimate. But you just called him deranged. Calling somebody deranged. Do you not understand how that hurts their reputation? Do you not understand how that's a personal attack for no reason? You are giving credence to these freaks that hate him, who are actually deranged by just assuming their premise. And I would be, even though my channel is infinitesimally smaller than this guy, if I were to assume that he's a pedophile, because somebody came into my chat and said, oh, people hate Asman because he's a pedophile. If I responded to, well, yeah, he may be a pedophile, but there are also other pedophiles that people don't hate as much as this guy. In fact, the left is trying to affirm a lot of pedophiles, calling them minor attractive persons. Do you understand how by me doing that, it reflects badly on me? Because... That should not be something that comes out of my mouth. Asmongold, for the record, is not a pedophile. He's not. And so, if I were to sort of play in that game, that would make me look really bad. Just as I think this makes him look really they bad. They cannot stand. Yeah, now, I don't, I don't think he actually believes that Mark Kern is deranged. Because I think that they would agree on 99% of things. Like... If you ask, what is Asmongold's take on the censorship of Stellar Blade? Uh, I think he would say Stellar Blade should be uncensored, that you should allow the character to have the more revealing outfits. And when I say uncensored, I don't mean I, I don't mean adult content. I'm not saying that Asmongold wants, you know, you know, Stellar Blade or 2B to be walking around naked in the game. That's not what I'm saying. But, you know, some of the more interesting outfits. I think that Asmongold and Mark Kern would agree almost 100% on the fact that they shouldn't be censoring that, that it should be the original vision of the artist. And I actually agree with them completely. I think that third-party uh, busybodies are a complete and total hindrance to the art. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments, am I overreacting about this? Uh, I'm I could totally be wrong. But when I when I hear something like this, it just it irritates me. You know, and some people say, oh, you're triggered, you're triggered. It's just sort of like, I don't know, it, it feels it, it feels lazy. And it feels like you shouldn't be you shouldn't be treating people's reputation with that sort of casual attitude. Because this guy has to deal with mentally ill retards on the internet that post gifts of basically them wanting to end his life. So maybe being a little more thoughtful 
And the way that you present this guy, like, yeah, oh, he's deranged, all right. But it's like, I don't know. I could totally be off the mark here, but I don't think I am. I think I'm I think I'm precisely right. I think that was a mistake of Asthma Gold's in this in an otherwise very good video. And uh yeah, I I like to think that I'm a channel that will call out anyone at any time, anywhere that I think is wrong. Regardless of if I agree with them or not. And I, I do agree with Asthma Gold more than I disagree with him. I think his I think his style is pretty good. But uh, and I heard uh, I heard Pirate Software talk about this, that Asmongold is the consumer. And I agree with that to some degree. But I think that it's actually it's actually far more. It, it's actually far more um, different than that. I, I, I do think there is a difference. I think Asmongold is. He's an insider consumer. What that means is that he gets he gets the invitations to the events, you know, just like anyone else. You know, he gets the review codes, he gets the free stuff, he gets the phone calls, he gets the sponsorships. He's an insider. Me, I'm a consumer, like he is, but I'm on the outside. And two different perspectives on different things. I'm not looking to ingratiate myself to anyone within the industry, I'm just looking to find the best course to make games better, to make them better for everyone, ironically. And I'm not saying that games have to be for everyone, but if you make games for a target, like for example, Path of Exile 2, perfect example, you make a game for a target audience and you do such a phenomenal job that it manages to resonate with other people and you bring in more numbers than a game that was trying to target everyone like Dragon Age the Veilguard, which is one of the most stinking abomination of a game. That game was so disappointing, it's hard to put into words. Asmongold gave it a 6 out of 10, which I thought was... I mean, I don't even know what to make of that. Um, even somebody who hasn't played the series, the game's not a 6 out of 10. It's not even close. That game is a 2 out of 10. That's being generous. That's me being extremely generous to call it a 2 out of 10. Like, any any game that can hurt the player base and make them wish that they weren't fans of Dragon Age like they did to Angry Joe, that game is not a 6. That game's a 2. Um, but anyway, that, that's beside the point. I just wanted to highlight this because I, I do think it is it is important that we be a little bit more careful with this stuff. Like, like, just casually calling somebody deranged. Casually calling somebody this or that. If you hate them and you really, really don't like them, then sure, okay, great. But I don't think we should be giving credence to these freaks. To these mentally ill retards. In the same way, I don't think we should be giving them credence for Asmongold. You know, there are so many people that hate Asmongold that have come to my videos, and I've just exploded with, with anger when, I, when I've criticized them in the past. And I'm, I'm looking at it going, like, I understand, like, there are some things that he says that I don't agree with, but these people are, like, invested in his life and hate him in a way that's like, oh, okay, like, okay, I'm going to back away slowly. I think that it's important to be more cautious when talking about other people's careers, I'm not perfect with this by any stretch of the imagination, but it, I do still think it, there needs to be a standard when it comes to this. Mark Kern's not deranged, okay? I think we can all agree on that. I think that's an objective truth. He's not deranged. The people that hate him are deranged. Anyway, that'll do it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. See you next time.